This man reigns from Akron, Ohio, the red line of the auction business, Conky's Flippin' Adventures! Conky. Conky! Oh, man. Uh, hey! Alright, this man needs no introduction, but they're paying me to do this, so... The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. What the Hell's Jeremy! Dun, dun. I'm here! Look at that. It's real. It's not just the land. From out west, Sandusky, Lorraine, Ohio. Some people call him Guapo with a capital G. What up? What up? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Auctions Anonymous. Um, myself, Robert Zaba, auctioneer extraordinaire, Mr. Jeremy. What the hell's and cookies flipping adventures, also known as the Restorer Extraordinaire. <laughs> I'm making up names now, Cocky. There you go. Look at that Jeep. So, you like that? I love it. You got Jeep back back there. Did wow. I show it on the camera? Hold on, I'm going to full screen you. Yeah, you probably should. Well, welcome, everybody. We appreciate you checking us out. You got to check out all of our no. channels. Every, lots to talk about. First, we got to talk about this. Show everybody them. looking at this has to promise to watch the video. I don't want to show this and have everybody say, well, I'm not going to watch the video now because. And if you haven't subscribed, go subscribe. Conky's Flipping Adventures. So there it is. Wait to see before, uh -huh. after, and how the heck he gets that done. That Jeep is hot. Conky, I'm going to bring my van over. I don't know if you remember how bad the interior was. Have you seen my van, Conky? I'm not touching that van. <laughs> that that van is un, un, unrestorable. Mary Franklin, how we doing? Howdy, AA guys. And we say howdy, Mary Franklin. Thank you so much. We appreciate your support. It's There's so much to talk about. Howdy. I don't even know where to start. Duty time. It's howdy duty time. It's howdy doody time. My, My video for that. today was not on a bidet. It's howdy <laughs> doody <laughs> you were, the, To tell the truth, you were sitting on the toilet, weren't you? Absolutely. I have a lot of things going on in my life, and I have to multitask or yeah. it all doesn't get done. So that's the beauty of the camera. You can frame the shot, and anything out of the shot don't <laughs> matter. We already seen his office at uh, uh his Hale's uh, headquarters over there. Yeah, the throne. Oh the yeah, best yeah, seat baby. in the house. I best mean, seat in the house. It's inspirational. It's where the best ideas happen, right then, right there. I can I could see that. So uh, I don't even know. I mean, so much crazy stuff. What did you have going on this week, Hales? Well, I just got home from about, I, I want to say 5.30. Yeah, it was 5.30. I just got home from the largest auction run I think I've ever been on. How long? 100, 123 units, eight locations. It lasted 12 hours and 15 minutes. It lasted so long. So I drove hold there. On, hold, wait, wait, wait. Hold on one second. How long? 12 hours 12 and 15 minutes. Oh, it's wow. over. It's a half a day. The half a day. Thank you, Mary Dale. Super sticker. We appreciate and it. It was, it was. I mean, you guys know it's it's exhausting. And that's what people they don't get. They don't see the they don't see the not fun part <laughs> of storage units. Your back hurting, your your feet hurting from being on them all day, walking from place to place to place. But we went down Tuesday night, and then uh, the auction happened Wednesday, and then we had to get the unit that we bought today because last night the facility was closed. The site was closed after the auction, so we had to get in there today, so we had to spend another night in that city, and then we dug in, and um, everybody's going to be pleasantly surprised. So you bought no a storage unit. I did buy one. I, I need to buy more. 
It's going to be an interesting, pleasantly surprising storage unit. It is a. Can I ask you one question? What's the size of the unit? Can I ask that question? Ten by ten. Woohoo! That's a hundred square feet of goodness right there. Let me ask you this question, because you told us how many units there were total on the auction run. Yep. Um, how many units did you see? Now I understand you bought what you thought was the best one at the time, but how many units did you see that you said to yourself, "Well"? If this were the last unit, I'd buy it, but we got a hundred more to go. So there were a handful of those where I was like, <clears throat> so here is my issue. I got a 20 foot enclosed trailer. If I overbuy, I have to come back to Otter Creek and then go back to the Jacksonville and then back to Otter Creek. But if I plan it just right, you know, I only have the expenses of, of going to Jacksonville once. And so I bought the 10 by 10 and I was like, you know, I know, I know I can get a 10 by 20 and I can still get it in here. And so I kept there. Were, okay. So there's a unit with two guitars and I'm like, I should be buying this, but I didn't. There was a unit with filled with commercial toilet paper and paper towels. What? Oh, you you didn't that. buy it? $450, man. That's Crazy. White gold. Crazy. There was another unit. I uh, had a Victor, Victor, uh, Victrola. Victrola in it. And I'm like, man, that would be so cool. So I kept waiting for that one perfect 10 by 20 because that's what I had in my mind I could put in in space. So I passed on quite a few waiting for that big, big one. And that big, 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 big one unit. didn't show. Well, yep. see, Freak, I don't know about asking about man's unit, but Jeremy always talks about his driveway. I can tell you that much, Sue Freak. That's so thank you so much. We appreciate the support. And a couple of people asked about, uh, I don't know if you guys know, I bought a pawn shop, right? Ain't that crazy? Rob is so on fire. He bought a pawn shop. You're mad. Nine by 28 <laughs> storage unit in Virginia. Spent 5200 on the unit. Plus buy a premium. That's $520. That's $5,720 on the unit. $1,500 one-way truck rental. Hotel room for two nights. Feeding just Jeff. Thank. I'm just, listen. That's your biggest expense. Lord, thank you so much for giving free breakfast and hotels. Amen. And because uh, without free breakfast, man, woof. That'd be woof. that'd be crazy. Oh man, because he he can eat like two breakfasts. You know what I'm saying? So he, I didn't have to get him lunch. He had enough energy to make it till dinner, and then we got awesome dinners. So it was a. Uh, while but long story short how many videos are left a couple of people are like well there's one video left no there's three videos left holy cow are you finally going to open the guitar cases they're coming they're coming and uh we're gonna have to find out how many guitars are in the i can tell you one thing okay this is tell me two things. exclusive your second sense you're not first sense tell me this two things sense. well there's 90 some guitar cases. Now the question is how many of those guitar cases are empty? Are they all empty? All full? 50 50? 10 percent? 20. You guys will find out. All I know is I got a wall that you can hang some guitars on. I'm just saying. I don't Throwing think that out so. there. Jerry, I told them the same thing. Full of guitars. Call, I told them the same thing. The opposite wall, the wall opposite of that. I want guitars hanging there too from storage oh, units. Okay, but I mean that's like the door to the bathroom. How are you going to get in the bathroom if you got a guitar in front of the door? Conky, there's going to be a guitar right there on the door. I'm, that guitar's name is Dingaling, and you got to play with your Dingaling to get into the bathroom. That's how. You know this stuff, Conky. I should have known you had it all worked out. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's a system. Just, said, just... Any Martins? Well, you have to watch and see what we find. But yeah, pawn shop storage unit. It was. You want to talk about a gamble and a risk, though. When you spend that much money, you got all this money tied up and your hopes and dreams, you know, <laughs> because you're buying by a few pictures. One, you don't know if the storage unit's crooked. Okay. You never know. Jeremy. That's a, that's a huge thing, man. All three of us here have been taken by storage facilities. Okay. Mm -hmm. All three of them. So we're not going to get into that. 
So that's a big that's a big risk. You got to because you could put all those expenses. You go there and it's all set up. Oh, great! You call the sheriff in Virginia or wherever. You know the cops. What good is that going to do you after you already spent thousands and thousands of dollars? And the money's gone. Money's gone. So I was telling. I mean, I'm I'm thankful first of a couple of things. You know, one, I have the greatest job in the world. Number two is that I have the means where I can actually purchase that kind of unit, and I have a wife. It's invisible, but she is loving enough to let me go on my wild escapades. As far as Rob knows, she was there with him the entire time anyway. Yeah, she could have gone. Yeah. He wouldn't have seen her. Me and the kids. So. The invisible kids. <laughs> the rock band. Yeah. Jeff was talking about it. We should start a band. So uh, there we go. I don't know. Con Conky. I mean. Hales obviously is the guitar player. I don't want to work. I just want to bang on the drums all day. Honky's so a drummer. Honky yeah. is a drum with that hair. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, Bob was... obviously is the lead singer because he's he's the young guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he can't probably sing though. That's the only issue. Maybe in Spanish though. He can't speak Spanish either. All right. <clears throat> Funny. I figured we could start a new Latino rock band. Yeah. Like Menudo, but different. <laughs> uh, you right over there, Rob? No, I'm making myself laugh. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. So, um, I don't think anybody would want to hear us if we did that. that yes, I, I, I stopped at Guapos, and uh, I, that's why I was a little late. I was trying to make some deals. Actually, I did buy a couple things off Guapo. We made a deal. And Before the his auction or during his auction? After his auction. Well, he didn't really uh, have an auction today. He kind of just had a lie for a little bit. He uh, he picked up a, a toy truck for him. I'm I'm surprised he got this thing for 15 bucks. But he picked up. He he texted me a picture of something. I think it was yesterday, the day before. And uh, he he must have been at the flea market buying. So I got to get up there and and. Uh, Pick that up one of these days. Well, there's an auction Saturday. the The Wooster Rich Wooster Litchfield run is yes. Saturday. This Saturday? Yeah. I Man, that's a good this. run. Yeah, I went to Wooster today, Conky. Yeah, I, it was it was just too too much rain and crap today. Was there anything good there? Oh man, it was the un unbelievable unit. I never seen. A unit this nice before Conky. I mean, there was like double stack mattresses. The guy had to be so comfortable that was living in there. It was <laughs> unbelievable. There was had and there was a bike, and the bike had two wheels and tires. It was um, I mean, unbelievable, Conky. There was a nice stack of like maybe some blankets and clothes to keep warm. I thought about I might just sell my house and move in there. I was like, this place is so nice. Was it at least a ten by fifteen? Oh, I think it was ten by twenty. Oh, and I'm oh. like, man, I could be living in Wooster. I could be right down the street from the baby. Okay. And I mean, this life would be great. Living in that, I mean, that storage unit. That's how nice that, that that storage unit was one beautiful. I mean, I can understand why someone would want to live there. Wooster is a great place. You could get, you go see Pepper. That's and, insane. Um, yeah. Just seeing Pepper would be worth it. Yeah, I agree with you. Go for yeah. it, man. So. I'm, I'm going to have to talk to the wife and kids, though. I don't know if they want to move the Wooster schools and all that fun, but we'll see. I mean, I think it's a great idea. And this guy, he had something there. Living in a storage unit, not bad. Not bad. Rent's cheap. cheap. And this time of year is the best time. It's starting to warm up. You don't have to yeah, worry about now's the time. If you're going to do it, now's the time to do it. If you're going to make a big move like that, do it now. They always say springtime is the time to, to move. Hit that thumbs up, guys. And if you think I should sell my house moving to the store, Jen and Wooster, let me know in the chat. Now, hold a second. I get it. You're going to move into a storage unit, but where are you going to host me and Conky when we show up? I'll get another. I'll maybe get a second one next to it. I mean, maybe I'll get like three or four, man. Instead, like, you know how they have a double wide? Like a triple wide, quadruple wide, man. Think about this. I hear you. Yeah. I got so one, you, one for Conky. and Conky. Boom. We're talking about camp second sense here. I mean, how much is a 10 by 20 in Wooster? 150 bucks? 150 bucks a month. Okay. So right there, I got 600 bucks, four units, one for each of us. 
I mean, I kind of like where you're heading with this. And we are we are AA. I mean, it would just make sense if we start living in storage units. Free Wi-Fi, too. Ooh, free Wi-Fi. Now you're talking my language. Yeah, that's all <laughs> we need. A little free Wi-Fi, we'd be good. Do they Wi-Fi know you're getting free Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi? And free security. Come on, man. You that's got a- the code, the gate. You got gate. Look at you lived in a gated community. We ain't got to <laughs> worry about herd stalkers anymore. Think about that, Conky. You can tell people I live in a gated community. Gated. <laughs> yeah, I I've heard of I've heard the I've heard of somebody local who makes pooping buckets. So Ooh. you know, I I think I think you had me a, you had me a bucket. <laughs> I think I think that's the new business in Otter Creek. <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. I was just thinking like the pigs, dude, coming by, and I'm just like, you know, that's when you know life is good when you're getting a pig staring at you in the middle of Camp Hales at well, seven in the morning. Was staring them. Helen, how are we doing, Helen? I love that name. I always tell people that was my mother. It is my mother's name, and my grandmother's name was Helen. So so Jeremy in the house and Guapo will be late as, as usual. usual. I saw a massive boar the other night. We were coming home really late and it was out right where uh, the gate is Thank you, Helen. and coming and coming in through the drive. And that thing just stared me down in the truck, stared me down. Was, he was a big one. I could have put a saddle on him and rode him. Hmm. Donna C. Big. wants to know how does she make dinner in a shed? Well, Donna, I have a feeling. Um, the poop bucket uh, doubles as a kitchen for her. Ooh. <laughs> Mud pies. Just turn oh, it upside man. down. Just turn it upside down. <laughs> it's, you got counter space, <laughs> and, and you're good to go. And then, wham! Done so, deal. Conk, Conk, I don't want to ask you in front of all 760-some people here, but uh, when's your video coming out on uh, your next video? Oh, with the Jeep? Um, it, it's been a, there's a lot of editing involved. Okay. So I, I uploaded the rough draft today, but I've got to go in and put in the comments. I've got to go in and I've, I've got to like pan the camera around. I mean, it, it'll probably be, it could be a week before it comes out. I'm going to actually try to have it ready to release by next Thursday so I can release I didn't expect you to say a week. So that's way ahead of I thought. Max Lab, thank you so much. Jeremy, she got a dead turtle in the mail and posted. Yeah, I don't doubt that, Max Lab. How are we doing today? Yeah, I'm actually yeah. working on You guys want to see something neat? Yeah. You I mean, that Jeep is pretty. You're talking to the, the group of guys that definitely want to see something neat. Um, let me show you this. This is a, come on. This is a Tonka truck without any paint. Cindy's. The Tonga truck and low paint. Cindy, thank you so much for the super sticker. I always love that picture. Oh, he's getting a Tonga truck, no paint. This is the next project right here. That Jeep Hold on, so Tonga. I got a full screen. Every thank you, Cindy. speck of paint has been taken off of this. I don't know if you can see that or not. So if you put that outside in the rain... Probably be rusted in one day. Oh, it, it, it rusts in a matter of minutes. There's the roof. And it is a dump truck. So I'm putting the uh, the filler in there. The Jeep, I didn't put any filler in. What's filler, and, Conky? Well, it's it, you'll be able to tell when you look at it. You're talking about like Bondo? Yeah, it's like Bondo, but it's it's for this kind of metal. But you'll be able to tell when you look up close at the Jeep that the the primer just I'll leave that sit right there. The primer coat wasn't enough. And it actually it's got some some imperfections in the you can see them there. Where it's not perfect. Wow. This I'm going for perfect. It looks pretty perfect. Yeah, yeah, if you look at it up close, you can see. Yeah, you see little waves. Beautiful. That's pretty awesome, Conky. Unbelievable. So, so I'm you guys I, 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 have to check out Conky's Flipping Adventure. If you want to see that these things get go from 
rusted pieces of junk to completely strip down to nothing and then put back together and made like like they, they look brand new. You're gonna have to check out his channel. They're as close to new as I'm gonna get them. It's gonna be unbelievable. He's gonna do some custom ones. I am gonna do some custom ones. So that's gonna be some cool stuff. Like uh maybe he'll do a what the hails a Christmas tree um truck. Oh yeah, we should commission him for a what the hails truck. That'd I could do cool. that. That would be cool. They make all kinds of um, special frames, and and I'm I'm getting good at. Well, I'm I'm actually try to build a, a, a truck body because one of the things that you want to see something else neat. Yeah. Yes. Be right back. Why is he even asking? asking? Why is he? Need to you want to see some awesome thing? No, Kong. You want to see something that's so awesome? Here. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, oh, yes. we want to see something that just so. Can you show us like the newspaper from today or something, Conky? Yeah. Anyway. You had right. me at do. <laughs> so this is this is a little ways off. But I'm actually gonna restore this. This is gonna be a, a full a full Maybe truck by the time I get done. You're just gonna build off of that. Yep. This is the front half of a Tonka truck. And I'm gonna build off of this. But that's this is actually a little ways off. This is going to be a project I'm working on while I'm doing other other restorations. So, so it could be a year before I get that done. Can you believe I built this from this? I'm just thinking of titles for videos. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Can you believe we built this city out of rock and roll? Rock this and thing? roll. Because we know Rob's gonna open those guitar cases soon. Because I need to see what's inside. I thought you were gonna say I need more guitars. Well, he needs more guitars. Like he needs more garage hail kids. You know, praise the Lord, he has blessed me, and. I probably have very few needs in life, except more friends, more love. That about sums it up. Because I don't need, I don't need no more food. <laughs> Busting this gut out. I was like Jeff and I were moving stuff today. <laughs> and at one point, there's like this little space, and he's like, "Well, one of us has to go through that to get to the other side to move this piece of furniture." <laughs> and I'm like. All right. <laughs> I guess it's me. I guess it's me. He's like, you didn't even touch anything because I walked right through it. I'm like, oh, man. But uh, crazy I day. Need, I also need a younger body. I need a younger version of me. It doesn't work like that, Jeremy. Every day something else hurts. I, I found Jeff, and he's an old, older version of me. But he's he, he's a workhorse, man. Yeah. I mean, think about. It. I mean, he worked like, you know. I said we drove out there to Virginia, worked nonstop, basically three days of nonstop working. And most people would be like, "This blah, blah, blah. Jeff was all happy. He's just like, "This is awesome." Well, well, when you get when you get the best units, I mean, how how, how can you be upset? It helps. Yeah, I remember he he asked uh, his wife asked him, "What happens if all the cases in the unit were em are empty?" He goes, well, it's going to be a long ride back with Rob. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, he had to drive the truck back, so he wouldn't have had to worry too much. You would have been, you would have been texting him. Yeah. This well, Jeff, is horrible. After that Thursday, we got back on Wednesday. Jeff bought the. He bought the one unit. He goes, Rob, I want this racking in this unit. And I'm like, okay, I'm looking at the unit. He's like, we can scrap the metal in there and it'll pay for the, the racking. I'm like, okay, if you really want to do it, fine, bid on it. And then he was like, I'll bid. I'm like, well, go ahead and bid again. So long story short, we bought that. Inside, there was a storage unit. The storage company, all the leftover storage unit stuff was there. And his buddy wanted a building. So we ended up selling that to his buddy. Well, he had to go back out there the day after we moved all the stuff. He took the U-Haul truck. Loaded up this all the metal into the U-Haul truck, drove it to his buddy's place, unloaded it all, and took the U-Haul truck back. 
And I'm just like, after we just spent three days of nonstop three work, days. then yeah. he just worked another nonstop. And then I'm like, well, if you want to come in later Friday, no, nah, I'll be blah, blah, blah. I mean, most people be like, ah, oh, you know, like I said, Jeff is, uh, I think, about 10 years older than me. But hmm. workhorse, man. Yep. They love seeing you smile, Conky. Where's Noreen? They'll make She's- him smile. She's <laughs> and that'll make him smile. Yeah. You know what also makes Conky smile? Yes, sir. Hey. That's what makes him smile. What's up? What's up? Hey. We were we were on uh, a full day, 12 hour, 15 minute storage unit run. Somebody comes up to me and they're like, Hey man, I hear you're like big on you know on the internet or something. I'm like, Well, you know, I'm fat, but anyways, they're like, What's your, what's your YouTube channel? And I and I went. So I, they go, what's your YouTube channel? So I can subscribe. I was like, it's Storage Legends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, dude. You think I'm joking? Watch the chat because Jessica and Deanna were there. They're both in the chat. They're like, what's your YouTube channel? I want to subscribe. <laughs> Storage Legends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even tell people my, what my channel is. Jeremy, uh, when so you're funny, stuck dude. at 99 or, or 999,000 subscribers and 999, you just can't get to that million. You're going to think back on that moment and say, I should have told the truth. No, I. No, no, we do that all the time. It's super funny. First of all, it's funny. Even if it's I was so the funny, only one dude. there, I cracked myself up. Second of all, I feel I always feel so weird promoting the YouTube channel outside of YouTube. Like if yeah. people are on YouTube and I'm like, hey, don't you can subscribe, it's free. They're on YouTube on purpose to watch YouTube. So it's it's a niche thing where I'm like, okay, well, you know, go ahead. But yeah. when you but when people are outside of YouTube. And and they're asking, oh man, you know, what do you do? Well, you know, YouTube. Uh, I mean, like Guapo's like, Ben, you know, I'm famous yeah, yeah. Orange Legends. And I'm <laughs> and, and I'm like, you know, if you see me in real in real life, off camera, non YouTube, <laughs> and and then well, I'm on YouTube. I don't even promote who I am. like. Even Diana's like, oh, we got to get what the hills on on the vehicle or the trailer or something. Yeah. I'm like, no, that's the last thing I want. I do not. Want to be noticed, recognized, or any anything? We even I though, promote Jeremy more than he promotes himself when we hang out. Do you, do you remember when we had what the hails on the back of the blue truck? Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that was that was George's idea. That was many, 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 many. I was many gonna moves. buy that truck. I gave I gave it away or I sold it for like dirt you cheap. I asked, uh, I asked my son if he wanted it. He's like, no. And so I was like, all right, well, I gave it away. Give it away. Oh give, it away gosh, give it away. That's so, give it away. That's so yeah. funny, though, yeah. man. We just so we do that all the time, and it's so funny. Like, I remember like telling people to subscribe to What the Hails. And and he would say his channel storage legends is super fun. Like all the restaurants we used to go to. It's so funny, dude. And like and like and like, and like I noticed like he never really ever would. He's right. He never used to verbally, you know, promote his channel ever. And I used to say it a lot everywhere we went. And it, it became a thing. Mayor Dan's in the chat. I was never on YouTube till he stopped at our garage sales. It's my fault. He's sucked <laughs> into the web of YouTube now. Like, whoop, there's just oh, funny. so much on YouTube. Mayor Dan didn't know what hit him. <laughs> it's just an innocent garage sale. It was it was a good garage sale. Like it was it was great. What's up, you Dan? Dan? You were Mayor Dan. It was it was at Mayor Dan's dad's place. So it was his family garage sale. Oh. And so I went to their garage sale. I went to I went to the flea market, but it was arts and crafts, which I'm not into. I like, I mean, you guys know what I like. Yeah, I like, you like quilting. Stuff. Oh wait, no. I, well, I like you. Well, quilt. I'll tell you what. You guys know how much quilting brings in, so I do like quilting stuff as well. But uh, I like used stuff and toys, and you know, still in the box, and you know, things that bring up memories. And they they had all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, all right, how much you want? And I love bulk deals. How much you want for all of that? How much you want off? Whoa! That is a pencil sharpener. 
Memories. Nothing than memories. That's the kind of memories you get. But I'm at I'm at a storage unit auction with a bunch of storage unit buyers who love watching storage unit videos, which they know I'm I'm there, you know, I'm gonna buy and put it on and they're like, What's your YouTube channel? Storage Legends. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. And Guapo's texting us. I got all man. I'm growing like crazy, man. I'm growing. And we're. <laughs> what do you think that? You don't know. I don't know. <coughs> Storage legends. Uh -oh. That's so funny. Oh. oh, I'm growing like crazy, man. I'm up. Why am I full screen? <laughs> Guapo's like, I ain't put out. I ain't put out videos put since 08, and I'm still growing like crazy. Still growing. Oh, that's funny. It's so funny because I was on your live the other day and I heard the 08 thing. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then he was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can I can I do a really can I reference your live again, too? I hopped in for a quick minute, but it was super. It was a super funny part. Um, When the guy swore, the guy swore. Why well, I got to be live, man? I haven't shaved. <laughs> that looks pretty good, when man. The, when the guy swore and and you were like you broke the one rule and oh my gosh she was like get these demons out of me satan <laughs> 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 I'm, like, I'm like what is he talking about it's so funny yeah those two reminded me of uh the two on step brothers um <laughs> the ones that that sing that song we'll have hey. so much room for activities <laughs> Yeah, he's got a smile. He's got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood memories. No, first is yeah, yeah. $5,000 for singing lessons. This is what I get. It's flat. It's flat. It's flat. It's flat. <laughs> That's funny. You got to see through your diaphragm, Jerry. You take it away. We need you. <laughs> <laughs> and I could go high like this. Oh, that's a funny, this is a funny movie. Oh, that's we were just talking movie. about starting a band. Conky's the drummer, Jeremy's yeah. guitar player. I'm a harmonica and other uh instruments that take very little talent. Other wind instruments, <laughs> a tambourine, uh, the cowbell. <laughs> I'm on uh, some of those. And, and Guapo <laughs> plays the spoons. Yeah, and you're gonna the be cowbell? the singer, Guapo. But you got to take your hair down and be like, wah, wah, wah. I want to see the best spoon playing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Dude, we would rock out to all yeah, of the I can play the washboard pretty songs. good, man. I want passion. Passion in that spoon playing. I'm also a good jug player, washboard, spoons. Um, <laughs> man. <laughs> Oh, don't get me started, man. Boom, 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 boom. I, I had a mouth harp that I found in a unit once. Oh, yeah. Doing, 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 doing. <laughs> I found one in a unit. We we sold it. I'm positive we sold it. Down at the pawn shop. Who can it be? Robert yeah. Zaba buying all those things. I guess Tommy's killing it. The thing about the pawn hey, shop. Heidi, I, I don't even know, Heidi. It's packed, stacked. It was nine by 28. 90 some percent of everything in the unit is sellable. So when you get a unit that much, I mean, it's like, it's a lot of inventory to come in and at one time. Plus we put up all the racking from, well, not all the racking, but a lot of the racking from the unit. So. Save Harley fundraising. That's pretty incredible. Wow. That is incredible. That is what do you incredible. think about that storage legends? There he is. This was um this is when I was a part of the MLB. Hold on, I got full screen this is that guapo? That's not guapo. <laughs> is that you guapo when you're a kid? Yeah, Where's this is when I was a, this was uh you know this was before my MLB contract. Did you used to speak Spanish then? Yeah, you didn't have a beard back then? Yeah, yeah, I was hitting home runs. Did they draft you? No, no. I actually got um, I actually got signed from preschool. What was you your signing me? bonus? Popsicles? Nope. It was Chick-fil-A. 
<laughs> Here's your signing bonus, kid. Here's some popsicles and some boogers. There goes I think someone Chick asked what, what happened. Huh? Someone asked what happened. I don't know, man. I just, to the cute, the cute I got, kid. Yeah, I got, I, I got introduced to um, vintage t-shirts. <laughs> it's been a path of downhill ever since. Ever since the vintage t-shirt addiction got me. Buying Joker toys. Oh, uh oh. Buying Joker toys. Dude, yeah, I found some t-shirts so vintage they got no stitch. No stitch. Those are rare, man. Wow, no stitch t-shirts. Man, those are that's like before 08. That's, that's like way a cloth. before 08. That's like a that's like a garment. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a nightgown. That's like yeah, raw that's... material out in the fields. <laughs> no stitch. Yeah, that's just no uh, like material. Yeah, that's just all the way cloth. That's just a big piece of cloth. That's a cloth. That's a man. cloth. Yeah. <laughs> No That's stitches a blanket. means you got no snitches. No stitches, no snitches. <laughs> <laughs> Clunky, yeah, bring it out, man. Clunky, that's a good observation. <laughs> oh, man. Well, go did you pick up that truck that uh, you sent me the picture I, of? I did. I got it. Cool. He's coming to see it. you Saturday, man. But you got a time limit. You have a time limit to come. Saturday. To He's coming Saturday. Are you Are you going to the Wooster Run Saturday, Wooster Litchfield? Possibly, Conky. Possibly. How many units on that run? I don't know. I, I haven't. I well, just looked. Like today, they're supposed to have seven. They went down to one. So we'll see. I'm. Ho I don't know. Like I think I think they had five and six or something like that or something. It's not a lot. But I'm worried it's probably going to be like two and one or one and none or, you know, saying. there's a lot of time left until Saturday. It's a good run. Still I know. Run. That's why you got to go. It's just like I went today and I pulled up and I looked in the unit and I was just like, you don't know until you go. And I now I know and I shouldn't have win or something. I forgot. I said something, but it all rhymed and they were all laughing. I'm like, OK, I'm out of here. I'm not Ron going. Like you don't How know much? until you go. I said no, ho, ho, ho. Like Santa. Claus. Merry Christmas. You're like ho, oh, oh, ho. Like oh. Santa Claus, huh, Jeremy? Like ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Merry, Merry storage unit. <laughs> Merry storage unit, Wooster. <laughs> the deep voice. Oh, ho, ho. Where's Mrs. Claus at? With my. <laughs> Head on home, Mrs. Claus. I'm about to head on home, show Mrs. Claus my sleigh that I got back in 08. 08. Ooh, this is a, I found a that sleigh in a storage unit. So did you hear who passed away today? <laughs> I see OJ. He no, no, man. The juice. That... No, not OJ. The, the biggest. The juice. No, man. Why not and Crook? No. Their dreams die of of having a, a real the professional sumo wrestler from Hawaii that went to Japan. He won all the championships. He was six foot eight. He weighed five hundred pounds. He died of a heart attack. He I, like I know I, it's hard to believe. Hmm. But yeah, he was fifty seven years old, man. I feel like I could be a sumo wrestler. I think you could. Hey, you know, Ronnie. Like my purse. <gasps> Let's do it. Remember when we jumped out of an airplane in diapers? I like yeah. I like wearing diapers for protection. Mm -hmm. I do. You like I do. wrestling? I'm wearing one right now. I do. Yeah, cocky has got a pair on now. See, <laughs> too much information, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I love eating. So I mean, and then what's what's the rest of the requirements? You, you like gotta, wrestling too? And you got to like wrestling. And you like we don't love wrestling. Right. Wrestling, some wrestling. As my dad used to say, wrestling. 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 Get some wrestling. <laughs> I've wrestled gators. Now I'm going to wrestle a sumo. Wapples Auctions, Tuesdays at 8 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I don't even know about that. Okay. Like, it might that's be like, I, I've been rescheduling like four weeks in a row. I got to figure out a good day. 
to kind of like you know have a have a like a schedule because right going now on it's on not days that you ain't telling us about man i'm know? not why did i reschedule last one mm. Mm. i don't know you got some I'm special sorry, things on before. tuesdays yeah that and then like the inventory like just we're not like you know it's not like i have a million you know hoarder house boxes everywhere rob was just here my basement's empty maybe you need to buy some stuff from my she shed yeah that is right what's up with that i just told you maybe you need to buy some stuff from my she shed <laughs> buy me out what do you want guapo man what do you need man I got belt buckles. I got watches. What do you want? Yeah, I, I need all knights. that, Rob. Uh, <laughs> I got some fan. I got a fantastic four number one for you. I'm waiting. Were you gonna give me 10k? Come on now. What's up, uh, Jeremy? How much is your she shed? Does the she shed you come can with have it? Everything in the she shed. Everything. 10k. 10K? Yeah. Everything. Boom. Jesus, man, Venice. Jeremy, why is everything inflated when I buy? Why has it got to be a lot of money like that? Why Sounds like a good deal, man. Why That's a huge like shed Mr. of Mr. Beast, Jeremy. You need to be like Mr. Beast. You got a big YouTube channel. It's time to start giving back, man. You know what? Get That's a good idea. I think I'm going to start doing that. So that's why I gave you a deal at 10K. How wow. much is in there? 500K. There's five hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff in there. If you sold it the right way. If I sold it to you for five hundred k, it's five hundred k. It's worth some money. Uh, man. Uh, I don't know what's in there. It ain't a he shed. It's a she shed. It's a she shed. Yeah. It's it's loaded with she said she said she shed. Tell you what, man. Hey, Jeremy, that's a Sounds lot. Sounds like a steal of a deal. Conky would probably do it, but he's got his Conky, money in Tonka trucks. you doing it? Conky's got his money in Tonka. So I've got all my money wrapped up in Tonka trucks. And what, do you, what, do, what do the legends think? They think you're getting a steal of a deal. <laughs> First of all, think about the title of the video. I bought G What the Hail She Shed. She Shed. For $10,000. Right. I bought the most expensive she shed in the country. You could your title could be I got me a she shed <laughs> going through stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> she shed what? I haven't seen the she shed. No, no, I haven't seen it. Um yeah. That she said has 10k per shelf or more. Ooh, Flippin' Adventure says that, and she's pretty credible. Well, that, that is a. Are you are you talking about the northern she shed or the southern she shed? It's got to be the northern. I thought it was the eastern one, but hey, what the heck did I know? I thought it was talking western. about the northern one. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not a left field, everybody. Whoa, Jeremy, whoa. I don't know. I don't know about the northern one. You know, Mayor Dan says it's flipping worth it. Or no, flipping <laughs> says it's worth it. Oh, sorry. I don't know about the southern. Up, I don't want the southern one either, Jeremy. I, <laughs> I just I just want the she shed. No poop buckets no in the shed. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be filled with all of Jeremy's losses in the storage unit select. There's going to be buckets of rocks. Yeah, there's, there's just going to be all rocks. That's all. <laughs> hey, Guapo, I got a pile of rocks in my backyard. I'll save for $10,000. Come get them. Yeah. Hey, let's talk about this, though. The most talked about storage unit Jeremy ever bought is the rock unit. The rock unit. So it is the rock unit. It's the most talked about unit he ever purchased. And then That's number so two would funny. have to be, uh, well, you know. The, the safe, what you found in the safe that uh, Rosie's Bush. Oh, that's Ro Rosie's Bush that I missed. Yeah, I remember that. Ooh, that was a dark time. <laughs> it was a dark time. You were there. Dark I hair. think a lot, lot of dark hair. Huh? You were there at that auction, weren't you? 
Yeah, but we went to, we went out to eat, and when we went out to eat, I had like obligations, so I had to leave. But I was real affiliates. close to watching that. And then she, and then a bush came about. <laughs> he had, he to, he had to get some affiliations in order. He so bet me up, man. He, he could have had that unit. I could have had that unit, and he wouldn't have had to worry about all those rocks. Man, that yeah. rock unit was horrible. He had, he had inside man, information. You know what? I'm gonna find the video because I got I got a good video of both you guys battling for that unit, and I got some good clips of like Rob asking da- Dave to split it. On the rock, it, I'm always yeah, thrilled. It was in Parma. Rob gets oh, no, no, it was in Akron. I'm always thrilled when Rob gets a good unit, but I would have been thrilled for Rob to get that crappy unit. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could be talking about Rob's rock unit right now. I would have been so happy if Rob got that rock unit. Like, Rob would have been like, what in the world? Donkey said he didn't come with the, with the dump truck. I, I don't know what we would have done. That was funny because I, I forget where I was and Jeremy called us. Um, did you want to come and um, get these rocks? <laughs> well, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> the amazing thing was how many rocks are actually in that unit. That is the most weight I've ever had in that truck. I, I told you I couldn't lift the bed. I couldn't turn the steering wheel without moving the truck. That's I've ridiculous. never had that much weight in that truck. I've never had so much weight in it. I couldn't turn the steering wheel without moving the truck. And I promised Christian and Patience after that. I was like, we will never, ever do this again. Like, they no will only be good units. Not this kind of unit. Yeah, that, we cool. always joke. That was the worst day of working for What the Hales. And, and, and when that, that storage unit manager came around, of course, oh, these... This was the best unit. These rocks are worth a lot of money. They're worth a lot of money. <laughs> that he stole from everybody in the community. <coughs> Residents yeah, somebody, and businesses. You know there's somebody out there like, rocks. Where the hell's my rocks? <laughs> yeah. Where are my rocks at? But how the hell did he get them in there? I mean, there were rocks that, that two of us couldn't lift. I think there was one rock that we couldn't even lift up. We just like rolled it over to the corner and, and dumped it over the curb. Leverage donkey, a stick and a, a mentally unstable homeless guy who had a thing for rocks. I bet he figured it out. <laughs> do I like do I get crazy strength if I become mentally unstable and homeless where I can start picking awesome. up rocks that weigh 500 pounds? I mean, what the hell, you know? Maybe he's like he wasn't, maybe he was like you know, an alien or something. We don't even know. Could you imagine if all the residents and businesses are calling Akron police, like, hey, uh, we woke up this morning. Our rocks are gone. <laughs> Next call comes in. Hate um, and this has never happened before, but uh, somebody stole our rocks. <laughs> Thank you for that. My invisible wife still enjoy the, the ice cream. The police come out with a with a Thank you, Gates, press sure. release. Press release. A press release. We have a serial rock thief out on the loose. <laughs> ten thousand dollar. Ten thousand uh, dollar. A reward for any information that leads us to the rock thief. It's people, not like they were... people, lock your rocks up at night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've seen seen times cables. like this before. Chains and locks around of rocks. <laughs> they like put a net over it and then like chain nobody's it. got a nice yard. Everybody's <laughs> yard is missing rocks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the they got rock rocks. Help us out. That and, dude, uh, that dude who did that was crazy, man. In that's the, so funny, man. I think that was Dirty Mike. That was probably Dirty Mike and the boys. Yeah, they don't know how many the, how many total rocks there were and how much total weight. I wish I knew that. I wish you guys knew the total weight. Heavy. Man. Listen, I, all right. I'll put it this way, okay? Let's I have gone and bought two tons of rock for that truck. And, and you'll have to bring home and spread my driveway. That's 4,000 pounds. And it drove around with 4,000 pounds in it like it was nothing. The bed lifted up everything. There was so much weight in that truck, I couldn't get the... I had to hand unload half the rocks just to get the bed to lift. So there had to have been... I'm thinking between six and 8,000 pounds of rocks. 
Yeah, and, and, and Conky had his dump truck, guys. This wasn't a regular truck. He had his dump truck. That's it's different. meant to dump rocks. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and haul. Okay, I like that. I say, wow. that's, really good. that's a new one. But he's still there. I mean, I he's still. So. He just went dark. He's back. No, he's dark. All right, sorry. I got a phone call. Oh, okay. Who was it? One of your affiliations? My it was. Affiliate. It was. Um. It was Rob's. Uh, Rob's partner calling <laughs> to complain about the live. <laughs> like, Rob's on the live again. He should be. He should be moving stuff. R- yeah. Rob, why is your invisible wife calling? Calling Guapo. <laughs> complaining Wait, about the live. Why do I live? look like that? I think he's talking about Joe. Oh, he wasn't talking about your life. Speaking partner. of which, I went to the Cavs game last night. Man, thank. I mean, they won. That was the best part because <laughs> they need to win right now. Did they uh, win? Oh, they won. I was going to say I yeah. forgot to. I forgot to check. Well, it. I think we were in sixth place yesterday. We won. Now we're back in fourth place. So there's only two games left. So, like, it's so close right now. It could get bad quickly. <laughs> So that's my uh my fun of the evening was going to the Cavs game. And then I I came back, I was working on my thing, and then I realized I left my uh keys in my business partner's cars. I'm like, oh man. Ooh. So I had to wait for him to come back and bring me my keys. So it was a long night. Janice, thanks for the rocks and hair compliment. That's why he's gonna be the lead singer of our band. Yeah, dude, A-A. our first song all the is, way is A stands for addiction. No, <laughs> the first song is <laughs> everybody wants to be like Guapo. Yeah. I got long hair and you yeah. don't. Oh, and the, and the second song, the hair. second song is I like buying. I want to buy I like big buys. And you cannot I lie. Big buys, and I can't not lie. <laughs> and all you other A's, it's not. not. <laughs> the unit will hypnotize. <laughs> I like big boxes, and I can't not lie. <laughs> They're stacked to the ceiling. Oh my. I like banana boxes, and I can't not lie. Oh no, not banana boxes. Remember those, Jeremy? <laughs> no. oh, I yeah, them. I remember those. Guapo did way better on banana boxes than we did. Yeah. I love banana boxes. Oh, man. Remember, you bought that's the, one of the only times I ever remember you ever bringing a dumpster to a storage unit. Yeah. So yeah. I, it, it was, it was funny as Jeremy filled a dumpster and then Rob went dumpster diving. And then Rob was <laughs> picking stuff out of my dumpster. That's but I rented a dumpster to dump <laughs> right there from the storage unit. Rob, did oh. you show him the comic that you bought already? No, it's in my. I didn't, it's in my van. It's in your van. You left a freaking dude. Yeah, I had to. Man, what you guy. talking about? What would you, you want me to go get it, man? I'm the one out there. I can run it, man. You're worried about dude. his van. His van with the stuff that you leave on your porch. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Right. You guys. I have like a generator on my porch right now. Like I have like. You are in. You are it's, in Lorraine, man. It's bait, brother. It's bait. It's bait. <laughs> He's I got, baiting them for the it's, I'm baiting them. I'm baiting them. What are you hoping to catch? I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna. It's like a Ghostbuster. We're gonna catch another hobo. What do you mean? Okay. We already caught. We already caught the first hobo. <laughs> now, now he's going after Stinky Pete. Yeah, because Dirty Mike, got, we already got him. He got Dirty got Mike. Him. He's going after Stinky Pete now. I'm going after Stinky Pete next. I got a generator outside. He's going down. $500. Stinky Pete won't know what hit him. He don't know how to ride a bike and take a generator at the same I'm time. I'm in like a ghillie suit. Like uh, like I'm in a ghillie suit like in the in the trees with my like camo on my face. He's in a like ghillie suit. down from a rope. You ever see those Halloween costumes where they're a transformer and they duck down and they turn into the car? <laughs> Guapo is the generator. There he is. <laughs> There's Stinky Pete. Look at him with his stinky, stinky self. Is approaching. 
Oh, I can smell him. I know I can he's smell close. Him from here. I know he's close. I smell butt crack. <laughs> and I just, I, I literally, oh, wait, I come out the tree. I'm in a close serious. space right now. There he is. Turns out that Stinky Pete just wanted to take a piss in the gas tank of the generator. I'm going in. <laughs> oh man. You see oh, my hair? My hair is filled with leaves and stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I'm camoed out, and I just run and tackle him to the floor. <laughs> I told you not to come around here no more, Stinky yeah. Pete. Stinky Pete, you <laughs> see what happened to Dirty Mike? <laughs> you want what Dirty Mike got? Come here, Stinky Pete. I warned Pete. you, man. I warned you. I trusted you, man. <laughs> that generator's not yours. <laughs> oh man <laughs> why is stinky pete funny <laughs> it's all fun games the stinky pete steals your generator because guapo's sleeping <laughs> why is stinky pete so funny to me i get there i'm gonna tackle him but i throw up because he smells so bad <laughs> what i tell you take a shower get a bath <laughs> i literally throw up on him <laughs> he smells so bad. Dirty Mike, Dirty Mike, and Stinky Pete gonna st start the next band. I got a hazmat. You're like, oh. I thought, you're like, I thought Dirty Mike was bad. Stinky Pete, you're horrible. I got a hazmat. <laughs> I got a ghillie suit and a hazmat just sitting there with the two with the two things on the side. Oh, it's funny. He's like he's like vain. You merely visit the stink. I live in the stink. <laughs> oh man. You see what happened to Dirty Mike and the boys? <laughs> don't you bring it. Don't you be bringing them girls around here, Stinky Pete? Yeah. Stinky Pete, don't bring all your maggots and flies. Oh, oh my goodness. That's funny. Yeah. But then you wake up, Stinky Pete stole the generator, man. You'd be like, man. <laughs> Watch, tomorrow he won't have a generator. <laughs> he strikes again. He strikes again. <laughs> it's the caper of Stinky Pete. <laughs> There's a brand new PS5 just on the porch next time. <laughs> With a with bear traps. No, so you'll have like, like a, you'll put like a big box and a stick, and like yeah, and, goes and a stick and holding it up. Out. Yeah, yeah. Lorraine <laughs> County police bring the canine unit to sniff out Stinky Pete. Yeah, and the dog just passes pass out because it smells so bad. <laughs> stinky. I try to attack him, but I just throw up on him because I just can't focus because it smells so bad. Oh, man. Stinky Pete leads him astray. He went and took a bath. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, funny. my goodness. Oh, How dumb. Uh, I got to breathe. How you think? What do you think, Conky? I was looking for my gas mask. All this stinkiness. I couldn't breathe down here. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> around here, I've got a mask. I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I'm starting to smell something too, man. I hope he's not around. <laughs> Is that a skunk ape or stinky peep? I got I got a um I got a I got a trap a trap around the generator that sprays them with Febreze. <laughs> you got a can of lysol. He's like, no, not lysol. No! Oh, my superpower! My superpower! No, just half. I'm the smelly. He just, he just gets sprayed with Febreze, and then I instantly tackle him. And now I'm just <laughs> smelly, Pete. You know how long I worked to be stinky, Pete. Now I'm just smelly, and that's oh, not man. enough. Febreze. That's oh, funny, man. man. You're hurting me. Well, I think you should sell that commercial to Febreze. I think they'd buy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just got you just got um you got Sherry just sitting there as Stinky Pete walking around. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. She's already gone. Maureen, come Whoa. back. That, that was a kiss and run. That that was that, that was Whoa. quick. You get those? <laughs> I never had a kiss and run, man. What? You're oh, yeah. Run. I wish I had a kiss and run. That would be nice. That would be nice. Those are those are very uh very exclusive. Yep. Whoa! Yeah. Holy cow! Two of them? You get those? You Whoa. never know. Whoa. You never know if you're going to struggle to do that. Man, I hope Stinky you Pete comes by. <laughs> I hope Stinky <laughs> Pete comes by. <laughs> For Guapo. <laughs> For his you better get away. Run. You better stay away. <laughs> <sighs> If Sticky Pete comes in and kisses Guapo, I'm out. <laughs> oh, no, bro. I'm out, too. I'm out, We're man. all out at that point. Everyone's out. There's no Stinky Pete. Guapo's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, guys, I swear the Stinky Pete was a joke. It wasn't real. There he is! Oh, <laughs> my God! Worried. He's worried about Stinky Pete coming. <laughs> I instantly you see me with the Febreze in my hand, like, get back! <laughs> Get back! <laughs> no, not for breeze. <laughs> like kryptonite. Oh, that's funny. <clears throat> oh my gosh, Guapo well, tastes like you, you take those little pine tree like air fresheners. You shut one in each nose. Come on, Stinky Pete. <laughs> Bring it, Stanky. Bring it, Stanky. <laughs> <laughs> I still like Jeremy when you said that it, he's like the transformer. He's just actually the generator. The generator. <laughs> <laughs> I caught you right. again, Sticky Pete. Sticky Pete's like, I would have gotten away for it with it if it wasn't for that storage legend. <laughs> and that, that dumb dog. Storage legend. <laughs> That's a nice hat. You like it? It's yeah. Russian. Yeah. You know who likes it? What the hell? <laughs> we lost his connection. We lost his connection. He's Speaking gone. of online auctions, Bonnie, this weekend, I bought the one unit in Michigan, and it had the gun safe in the front, and it had comic books, toys, video games, and I bought the other unit that had Legos, all that stuff's in this Saturday's auction. We got toys, Legos. Unbelievable. www.secondsense.com. You guys got to check it out. It's going to be an unbelievable auction. And we ship everywhere in the world. And this auction, like I said, two of the storage units you see me buy, that's going to be in the auction this Saturday. One o'clock ends. So check out that auction. And then Storage Legends, his auctions, well, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. But just check out Storage Legends. Check out his yeah. videos. <clears throat> the great stuff. And then Conky's Flipping Adventures, Saturday, 8 o'clock. He has his live. And uh, I do. He'll have it this Saturday. So check it out, Conky's Flipping Adventures. And then he's got next week, hopefully, restoration video coming out. And uh, like I said, Tuesday or Wednesday, 8 o'clock, he's got an auction. He's got. He says he don't got nothing to auction. He's got tons of stuff to sell. I don't know what he's talking about. He's got comics. He's got cards. He's got he's got stuff. He's got Legos. He's got all kinds of stuff. He's got that hat. I mean, I'd buy that hat. Would you could auction off his hair. Who sure is that stinky that? piece hat? Mm hmm. And then don't forget Jeremy's Fun Day, Sunday, Fun Day, Fun Day at 8 o'clock on what the Underdog. Heck? So, but yeah, I mean, crazy, crazy week. And I got three more videos from the pawn shop storage unit, ladies and gentlemen. And trust me, it gets better. That's all I can tell you. It's, it's better, better, wild, better, better. guys. It gets so freaking crazy crazy and am i gonna have a youtube auction you know what gay smasher i've been thinking about doing all kind of different things um i thought about maybe doing a, 
a membership and then doing a, an auction where I would have the membership because it makes things a lot easier if you do membership for auctions. And I thought about doing something maybe with my business partner, maybe just Jeff. I'm not exactly sure. But I talked about it for a long time, just like I talked about doing a live for a long time. And then I took over the AA here and I've been doing the live. So, um, Newport. Oh, no, sorry. I was going to say, this is, where is it? Here it is. Newport News, Virginia is where I was. That's where the storage facility was. Newport News, Virginia. And uh, unbelievable storage unit. And a little bit of everything in there. Some people said the War War II stuff here. I got the, I got it right here. Honks. Nice. I so that. that was a video yesterday. So if you guys didn't get a chance to see it, check out the video. And then we got the video tomorrow. I don't even know what's in the video tomorrow, Conky. I haven't even worked on the video, and it was so long ago, and I did eight videos. So it was like, it's awesome when I go through the videos. I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I got that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I get to put the comps in, and I start realizing how much money the storage unit is worth. And uh, you guys are going to have to let us know what you think it's worth. Um, but. It's up there, Conky. I think it's going to be worth uh, having gone down there to get it and come back, at least. It's definitely going to be worth that. So what do you got going on, Conks? Oh, I just, uh, like I said, I've been trying to, you know, get back into the the, the videos, the restorations, the, the trucks, and uh, I've been buying way too many. And I decided that if, since I've been buying so many, I've got to start doing something with them. So that's that's been my life for the last few weeks. Good bunny. You're gonna find out. I can tell you what, you won't believe some of the stuff I find. You will not believe. And um I can't wait to see these restoration videos, Conky. He put out the one. If you guys haven't seen that one, go to Conky Slipping Adventures, check out that video. It gives you a little taste of what you're in store for. And these restoration videos. This is the one that's this is the video that's already out. This is the right. restoration I got of this. full screen you call me. And this little guy makes an appearance in the video of that one. Oh wow. Because it needed new tires. And it, 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 they bought the tires from the Firestone store. So it nice. has to deliver the new tires and haul the old ones out. Someone said fifty thousand dollars on the unit, they're thinking. I like it. I like it. And um, this house I went to today, Conky. The lady's husband passed away, unfortunately. And he was like a computer engineer, science or something. I don't know. Long story short, he knew a lot about a lot. But his hobby was restoring high-end audio equipment. Hmm. I picked up today all these Morants, and it, I, I, some people might not know about uh, stuff, but, but this is high-end vintage audio. Receivers are one of the things that are worth a lot of money. These are tube receivers, okay? The tubes make them, the new receivers don't use tubes, okay? And just like amplifiers that people use for rock and roll, they'll tell you there's no sound better than a tube People will go out of their way to buy a tube amp. They'll spend thousands of dollars to get a tube amp. Just like these tube receivers, there's no better receivers out there. Well, this lady has some of the top brands, okay? Marantz, Sansui, um, Pioneer. Unfortunately, the top echelon of all, one of the top is McIntosh or Macintosh, however you want to say it, not the computer has nothing to do with the computer, nothing to do with Apple, anything else. High-end electronics, where these receivers, they go anywhere from $1,000 to $3,000 a piece. A whole setup, you know, you're looking at $10,000, $15,000, depending. And her husband had three of them, but her son took one, somebody else took one, and somebody else took, you know, whole setup. Hmm. But all the other stuff he had left, there's equalizers and other things. There's DVX. 
but people that are audio aficionados will understand. I took all that stuff. Then she had antiques. Well, let me show you a couple pictures. We'll be getting off soon here, ladies and gentlemen. But we appreciate everyone that's joined us tonight. Don't forget, check out all the videos and uh, some crazy, crazy, crazy pieces of furniture. Uh, what do you see this piece, Conky? Oh, uh, got full screen here. Oh, wow. Look at that chair. It doesn't look comfortable, but it looks ornate. In, in... Yeah, that's all inlaid in there. Wow. Made in Syria. Now there's a table that goes with it. Pretty awesome. You know, here's a little side view. But look at that end in there, Conky. Yeah. That had to be some work. The man hours to build this stuff. Look at that. Here's the top of the table. Yeah, that's that's a lot of work. You know, I mean, that's... And there's some other cool pieces there. I'm trying to... Oh, uh, this chair is pretty cool. Let me see if I can... I'm not... You know, sometimes furniture. <laughs> Neat. Look at the back and look carved on the side like that. I mean, the thing is, I, I appreciate the craftsmanship because that is a lost art nowadays. Um, I mean, the craftsmanship of some of these, you know, everything's press board and all that. I don't know. This stuff is built to last forever. You know, I mean, it's just people, it was an art, you know, it's just like going in these old buildings and like in Cleveland, I'll go in these old buildings and I, I'm a person, I always look at the ceilings and people are like, you know, most people never look up. I'm always looking at the ceiling and some of these places, the ceiling is so ornate and it's all like plastered and colored and, and it's like they took all that just to put it on the ceiling all that energy and time you know what i'm saying now yeah, they, and all that i mean it's a lot of work working on a ceiling you know what i mean if yeah especially when you're 50 feet in the air yeah you know you gotta build scaffolding to do all that conky you know yep. you're like you know, michelangelo over there or da vinci or something you know who's the guy that did the ceiling like angelo so but that's why I love my job. I, I was thinking about today. I was like, I got the best job in the world. From it's a whole gambit of stuff. But to see, you know, you know, like my auction come up, I got Civil War items in there. I got that unbelievable inlay chair today. This high end audio equipment. I bought a pawn shop. I go on and on. It's just all this crazy stuff that I find and see opportunity it's just unbelievable i love history and that's why i love my job i get to touch history see history i've had i mean just every, anything you could think of as i had the opportunity to sell i mean obviously there's so much more that i haven't got to sell yet but i've got to sell a lot of awesome awesome items and it's well, keep 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 doing it you'll eventually <laughs> try sell it all conky yeah, you'll eventually sell it all or, or come damn close so I'm trying to do auction every week, so we've been uh, we've been hitting that goal, and then sometimes we add a second auction in a week. So, but we've been busy, busy as you know, Conk. Busy, busy, busy. So, anything you gotta say, Kong, before we get off? No, I think uh, I, I think I've said my piece tonight. Kong said his piece, and uh, one. I just want to say, everyone that joined us tonight, we appreciate you. We appreciate you, and you know, without you guys, we wouldn't be doing this stuff. Uh, got some unbelievable videos still coming out from the pawn shop. There's some hidden surprises still, and then we get to see what's in all of those cases that are left. And there's a lot of cases. <laughs> I said earlier, there's 90-some guitar cases. So, we'll get to see wow. what in all of those cases and like i said this weekend awesome auction next weekend awesome auction weekend after awesome auction there's so many awesome auctions coming up conky i, I could sit here all day i'm just telling you guys check out www.secondsense.com if you have not i got 
anything you can think of, I got coming up from artwork to coins to furniture to coach purses to, I mean, riding lawnmowers. I got, there's just so much stuff audio equipment, toys, brand new toys, vintage toys, video games, blah, blah, blah. I keep going all day, Conky. So remember, guys, don't forget. Appreciate you. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't. Check out Conky Slip Adventure. Check out What the Hails. Check out Storage Legends. And check out all the awesome videos I got in Conky. I just want to thank 900 new subscribers since last week. Okay, 900 new subscribers. That's not bad for a week. For one week. Over 900 subscribe, new subscribers. So thank you all. If any new subscribers are watching tonight in the last week, thank you so much. And hit that thumbs up. And like I said, I've been jamming out some great videos and I appreciate everybody sharing the videos and share with your friends and we got to do our prayer. You want to pray Conky? You want me to pray? Sure. I'll do it. All right. Hold on. Not usually really short anyway. So yeah. God, we thank you for this time we were allowed to spend together this evening. Uh, the four of us uh, with our, however many people watched. Um, so thank you for that. And we uh, pray for a successful week for all of us until we meet again. Amen. A amen. A amen. And, uh, Yes, thank you so much, Lord, for everything you've done for us, and we appreciate all you guys out there. If anyone has any special needs, and uh, Gate Smasher, stay positive, keep the faith. Hooray! And uh, we appreciate your service as always, Gate Smasher, and any veterans out there, we appreciate all your service keeping us safe in this great country that we live in. And a lot of people might have negative views, but at the end of the day, greatest country in the world. A -A -A Amen for that. And I would never want to live anywhere else besides the beautiful United States of America. So thank you. And um, anyone that served for our country, we appreciate you. And um, on that note, check out, like I said, everybody uh, check out our videos. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Until next Thursday, until we meet.